All right, everyone, welcome back to Lockhart's Powerhouse. Today we're going to be discussing EMOMs, every minute on the minute. So let's get started. All right, first off, what is an EMOM? An EMOM is when you start a running clock and do a certain amount of reps in that minute. Once you complete the certain amount of reps, then you get to rest for the remainder of the minute until the next minute starts. So for example, I'll do four frame deadlifts, perform my four reps, and when I'm done with my four frame deadlifts, I get to rest the rest of the minute. And then when the next minute comes right on the next minute, I do the same thing, four frame deadlifts. It's simple and effective, but you can also make it a lot more challenging. You can add a rep every minute, you can do even odd minutes of different uh, workouts. It's up to you, but an EMOM is just simply you perform a certain amount of reps on the minute and rest the rest of the minute. Second off, what are the, some of the reasons of why you would use an EMOM in your workout? Well, it helps you manage your, your rest time and your fatigue time. So the, the clock keeps you accountable just like a coach. Once you finish your reps, it teaches you to, to take time in that rest and then when the next set comes to be ready to do the next set. It holds you accountable, it doesn't, it keeps you on track, and you don't get lost forgetting what set you're on or lost on your phone checking your social media. Helps you squeeze in a little bit of extra volume on a muscle. So say you finished your leg and uh, hamstring and quad day and you feel like you didn't hit your hamstrings enough, throw in a quick 10 minute EMOM of some Romanian deadlifts and get an extra uh, reps on your hamstrings. It almost feels like a game sometimes. You can think of an EMOM as a game. Say you're trying to beat the clock. So last week I did 10 push-ups every minute and I only made it to 12 minutes. I got 120 and I burned out and that was it. Well next week try to get 14 minutes. The next week try to get 16 minutes. It's a good way to teach yourself how to progressive overload and to manage your fatigue time and actually see if you're progressing in the movement. It's also a great way to get a workout in a time crunch. Say you only have 40 minutes, you gotta get to work, you gotta get to school. Just program a quick 20 minute EMOM and uh, get the reps in. You can easily get 100 to 200 reps to determine on the weight and the movement used. When should you put the EMOM in your program? At the beginning, at the end? Well, you can put it anywhere. For example, you can put it at the start of your workout to get a good warm up in. Say you're doing back squats for the day. Well, add a 10 minute EMOM of front squats, five reps every minute, and it gets your mobility up, teaches you to get your core and back strong, and gets you ready for the back squat, your main movement of the day. You can also reverse that and do it at the end of the workout. Say you did your back squats and your front squats, you did some lunges, but you just feel like you didn't hit your hamstrings enough, so at the end, put a 20 minute EMOM of hamstring work. You can do 10 minutes on the GHD, 10 minutes doing deadlift, 10 minutes doing Romanian deadlift, 10 minutes doing good mornings, however way you wanna do it. Another great way to do it is supersets. So set a 20 minute timer. On the even minute, you can do a bicep curl, and on the odd minute, you can do a lion tricep extension. So on the even minute, do six barbell curls, and on the odd minute, do six lion triceps extensions. In that 20 minutes, you just got 60 reps of biceps and triceps in, just like that. It's a good way to superset your, your programs. What are some of the easy devices you can use to keep track of your EMOMs? Well, the easiest one that most people have is a smartphone. Just go on your settings, check your clock, and most of the clocks will have a stopwatch. You can also buy a cheap wristwatch. You can use your um, smartphone watch. You can buy a nice timer for your, your gym. Um, most gyms have a timer, so just ask the owner if you can set the timer on it. There's also apps on there that are good for just EMOMs that you can download from the iPhone marketplace or from the Android marketplace. It's up to you. All right, everybody, that's it. That's just a quick discussion on EMOMs what they are, when to use them, and why to use them. Let me know in the comments below what you like to do on your EMOM workouts, and make sure to like and subscribe to Lockhart's Powerhouse. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit the metal.